Hey garage heads, welcome back to the 6th Gear Garage. Today, we're going to work on the rusty 1987 Toyota 4x4 pickup. Because I had someone request a video on how to remove the door panels of these trucks. This is also a great time for me to try out my new trim removal tool set. I think it has every trim tool I'll ever need. Because this truck is rusted to the point where the cab isn't worth saving and the frame isn't much better, I'm going to remove the nice interior and save it for a future project. Starting with the door panel. Behind the vinyl or cloth cover, these door cards are made of cardboard and it gets brittle with age and moisture. I've had trucks where people just pulled on these panels the wrong way and the cardboard cracked. I do a lot of exterior trim removal and interior removal, so it was time to invest in a set of tools for the job. There's a bunch of different trim tools, all shapes and sizes, and these are made of impact resistant nylon fiber material, so they're tougher than ABS plastic, but won't scratch like metal ones. There's four hook and pick tools, some panel poppers, and a couple smaller handheld ones as well, a variety of radio removal tools, and a bunch of different depending tools for plugs and harnesses. The kit included a variety of different replacement plastic fasteners uh, because they get brittle with age, especially under the hood and exterior. I'll put a link to this kit in the description. Oh, and it all comes in this zipper case which makes it easy to bring along to pull apart. But right now, let's pull apart this door. First, I'm gonna remove the armrest and it's held in with two Phillips head screws. Some models had a pull handle here instead and it's also held on with the same two screws. Next, behind the door handle, there's a smaller Phillips head screw holding on the handle trim bezel. And if your door panel has the safety light, it's held on with two Phillips screws as well. Then, just press the side to unplug the harness. I was wondering how they put these LEDs in there. Turns out it's just a five by three plate with a two pin connector. And that goes to this spring loaded contact which sits in place of the factory bulb. Here's where having the right tool for the job helps. I need to get behind there and pry the plastic push clip and this one has a little bit too small of a gap. This should do. There we go. I can feel the next one up right about here. I'm a fan of panel poppers. If I just grab the panel with my hands and pull, I run the risk of tearing the plastic push clip through the cardboard panel and having the clip stay in the door. So this is the best way to go about it. You get a more even surface area with a proper tool than say a flathead screwdriver. Although a flathead's better than just pulling with your hands. All right, I've gone all the way around the bottom and sides of the panel, but there's a couple more hidden near the top. I can feel one right there. So. With the same plastic tool I had before, I'm reaching up from the bottom. There's one. Now I can disconnect the harness for the window switch. Oh, if you have manual windows, I already have a video showing how to remove the crank. That video was how to convert your door to the vent windows. I'll put a link to that one in the description. So now the only thing holding on this door panel are the metal clips along the top. I'll just use this tool to pop those out. Just give it a pry and that was easy. I'm just sliding the tool along the top of the door until it comes to the next clip. And one to go. And it's free. Here's a look at those metal clips. They attach to the bottom of the rubber strip. And then they slip into these uh, notches in the metal door. And that's it. 
Oh wait, one more thing. If you want to pop this window switch out, all you have to do is bend these four tabs in. And it pushes right through. That way, you can still roll down the window. Even the master switch on the driver's door doesn't roll this one down if this switch isn't plugged in. So these are pretty easy to remove if you take your time and having the right tools definitely helps. Thanks for watching and consider subscribing for more how-to videos and project vehicle updates here at the 6th Gear Garage. For today's bonus, the first person to correctly guess what kind of aftermarket wheels are on my 1987 Toyota pickup will get a 6th Gear Garage sticker in the mail. Let's make this one a challenge. I'm with the manufacturer and the model. Good luck.